Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cook's Vision. What's going on, Cook? My name is Zach. Welcome to Cook's Vision. As you guys can tell, man, I am not at home right now. I'm not in the kitchen. Um, I just want to holler at you guys today. So, you know, I've been getting uh, some requests and some advice on things that I should do to help the channel out. And one thing was recipes. I don't give recipes. Why don't I give recipes? Well, I don't give recipes for a simple reason. I don't like following recipes. <laughs> I know people are like, well, how you don't like following recipes? And you follow recipes all the time at work. Yeah, my job is to follow recipes at work every day. And um, I do that. I do do that every day. I follow recipes. I prep what I need to prep. And, um, you know, for the most part, you know, the recipes work. Um, but when it comes to cooking at home, <clears throat> when it comes to cooking for fun, I don't like following recipes. I don't like feeling like I'm cooking somebody else's food. Um, I want to cook my food. And, but it's like, well, if you want people to cook their food, then why are they watching your videos? Well, you want to watch my videos for inspiration on what to do, you know what I'm saying? How to do certain things that you might not know how to do, but then you don't have to exactly follow my exact recipe. Um, and that's the whole purpose of it. I do read cookbooks. I do have my favorite cookbooks. But at the same time, I look at those books for inspiration. Like, oh man, I never thought about that, or I never thought about plating this, or okay, this combination works. Another reason why I don't follow recipes, or I don't necessarily share recipes, is because what works for me not, not, might not work for you. What I do in my kitchen for me, myself, and I, might not work for you and your family of two, three, four, five, six. If you wanna have friends over, you gotta make more. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the quantities aren't gonna match up. Um, everybody's kitchen is different. Uh, that's one, you know, and everybody does things different. That's one thing about a recipe that I've found following them at work is that the recipe could be all good up until, you know, some point where, you know, the chef uh, tried to be exact and he wasn't exact or, you know, he used a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that. You know, I just kind of feel like you need to put your own twist on recipes. Um, for instance, we got parsley juice recipe where we blend up parsley three um, three bunches of parsley, water, lemon juice, and uh, we think that was anthem gum. Now, every time we do it, um, you know, every, every time I do it, it comes out a little different every time. Uh, the tablespoon of xanthan gum that it calls for is a little too much, you know what I'm saying? But that's what the recipe says, so if I was to follow the recipe, then when I do it, it doesn't come out right, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I do it, you know, differently or, or, or wrong from uh, wrong from what my chef does it, um, but that's just, you know, you don't know who's, you don't know who's doing it necessarily, you don't know who's making the recipe necessarily, so, you know, if they feel like, oh, it needs a little bit more water, you know, there's variables that go into it. There are some bunches of parsley that might have a little more in it than the other one, right? So you might need a little more water, a little more ice, and then that means that it's gonna be a little more runnier. That means you're gonna need a little more xanthan gum. So there's X factors when it comes to cooking that are different um, each time that you do it, even if you measure it out, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? You have to use the same vessel, you have to use um, the same equipment, you have to be at the same elevation, you know what I'm saying, just stuff like that, man, like, honestly, you know, following recipes is important, you want to follow recipes for stuff that you need exact measurements for, like, I feel like, if you're making bread, if you're making a cake, you know what I'm saying, if you're using chemicals, uh, or not chemicals, but substances that we use to thicken things, like xanthan gum, like soy lecithin, like, um, pecked in, you know, cornstarch, things of that nature, you're going to need some as close as possible exact measurements so that things come out properly. So I, I agree with following recipes, recipes in those situations, but for the most part, if you're just cooking and you're just cooking at home, you don't really need to follow a recipe. Another reason why following recipes is 
you know, not really, why I don't necessarily agree with following recipes if I'm cooking at home is for the simple fact that you might not have everything that I have. Um, you might ha say, say if I want to make a chipotle aioli, right? I myself am going to make it from scratch. If you want to learn how to make it from scratch, cool. But if you're like, you know what? I don't feel like making a mayonnaise. I don't feel like finding these chipotles. I don't feel like blending them and then folding them in and doing all this other crap to it that I'm going to do to it to make it good. I would rather just buy a craft chipotle aioli and put it on whatever it is that I want to put it on. Like if you want to do that, by all means you can do that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do things a long way. I'm going to do things a long way. Um, and a lot of people aren't going to want to do things a long way. Um, if it takes me two hours to do a dinner, then that's how long it's going to take me. And a lot of people don't have time for that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, following recipes for specific things, making pastas, um, you know, I just don't know what the quantities that you are going to do are, right? And then that just takes some math skills. You know what I'm saying? If I use two ounces of, you know, if I use two eggs and, you know, what, a tablespoon of, tablespoon of mustard and six ounces of oil to make a vinaigrette, um, then that's just enough for me, right? But if, if you want to make, you know, a gallon of it because you really like it, then, you know, you're just going to have to change the math on it. Quick story, man. So, I've never gone to a restaurant and I've never asked for a recipe. <laughs> I've never been like, man, this is so good. Like, can I have the recipe? <laughs> I don't know what gets in people's heads, man. But like, honestly, <laughs> honestly, that's the one of the double things that you could do. To be real, like, why would we give you the recipe so that you can make it at home and not come back? Just saying. Um, but anyway, so you know. <laughs> People want people want a recipe. I made a mac and cheese, and uh, somebody some somebody's daughter really liked it, and they were like, "Oh my God, my daughter ate all the mac and cheese. Can I have the recipe to the mac and cheese?" So the server comes back and is like, "Yo, the guests will like the recipe to the mac and cheese," and it's just it blows my mind. So we're like, "Okay, cool. Let's give them uh, have them give us our, their email, and then we'll email it to them." <laughs> <laughs> you know, we never do. We never, we never, we never do. It's just no. If you come to my restaurant, you ask for a recipe. We're gonna ask for your email, and then we're gonna throw it in the trash. <laughs> right? Because it's mac and cheese, man. You know, and it literally says Gouda mac and cheese. You know, so um, following recipes. I don't know. But on a serious note, <laughs> on a serious note. Um, cook your food. Cook the food that you like. Um, watch my videos to get inspiration on what to cook, how to, how a way to cook something, what's the cooking process. I'm not one that knows all types of recipes off the top of my head. What kitchen, catchatory, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not the one that knows that and I don't want to know that what I want to know is cooking techniques because with cooking techniques you there's an infinite amount of things that you can do with it you know what I'm saying and and I really feel like if you're going to follow a recipe um, then once you're comfortable with that recipe, then you start to branch off with it and make that recipe your own. Um, so that's basically all I got today, guys. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank everybody that clicks on my video. I want to thank everybody that supports me. Um, we are on the road to 10,000 views, you know what I'm saying? So um, if you like what you see, please share it like comment and subscribe for more videos i will be in and out of the kitchen i will try to do more vlogs for you guys so i can just talk directly to you guys uh football season is coming up so i will have some barbecue grilling 
football Sunday type of food on the channel um, on top of some regular stuff so we got some things in the works man I do I want to thank everybody that clicks on my video man please like comment and subscribe if you got any questions feel free to throw a comment down there and I'll get to it as soon as I can it's your boy Zach from Cook's Vision ain't nothing to it but to cook it <laughs>